the way I'm doing this is not the way it's going to go into the world. The way it's going to go into the world is that there'll be machine learning running um, algorithms that are still, still being developed that will be watching as little kids talk and as they gesture. And if they all start creating um, a common gesture for things, that is how that will go into that vocabulary. Um, it has to come from kids. Um, or it's not natural language. Um, kids actually, adults are completely incapable of creating natural language. All natural languages are developed by, by children um, up to seven, year, seven or eight years old. After that, we lose the ability. In fact, uh, there's really good work about this. Um, there's work at Columbia University um, that shows, and, and Sengas has been following, for example, Nicaraguan Sign Language, which actually was born in the 1970s. Uh, because um, kids in uh, Home for the Deaf, a group Home for the Deaf, had, didn't really have access to any other way to communicate with each other, and they spontaneously started gesturing. And by the 90s, after about 20 years, it had evolved into a full natural language with all the characteristics of a natural language and um, as complex as any other natural language. Because it seems that this is how, this is how languages happen. Um, and so what I'm doing is just kind of saying, here's the idea. But there are certain pieces that I'm of it that I'm not doing, and it might even be too soon to do them. Because I think until we can comfortably put kids into the environment without bothering them physically, so they just accept it as part of their play, I think it'll be too soon to actually be developing that vocabulary the way I just described. But that's coming, so you should be ready for it.